total liquid cooling is where you cool servers entirely with liquids and you have no airflow. And as a result, you can get rid of a lot of the infrastructure associated with air and clean environments. Now, data centers cost about $1,000 a square foot to produce these clean rooms that blow air around with a particular temperature and humidity and quality. We don't need that. We can deploy isotope-based total liquid cooled servers into warehouses, logistics spaces, classrooms, lecture theaters, offices, all sorts of different spaces. They don't make any noise because they don't have fans in them and they are tremendously efficient. Well, data center power consumption is usually measured by the megawatt rather than by the kilowatt. You know, huge buildings, lots and lots of megawatts of power consumption. Often in the drive to drive down PUE, these buildings also consume large amounts of water because they evaporate the water to cool the servers. So lots of evaporative cooling going on. You know, you're looking at some buildings taking tens of thousands of liters of water per hour you know, to cool these servers that are inside to drive their PUEs down, to drive down their energy bills. So we're looking at these big data centers, not very many employees in them. They don't give a lot back to the local community. You know, there might be one employee per 10,000 servers in some of them. And then they're evaporating lots of water, they're using lots of water resource and using lots of power resource. In growth, you know, what something like somewhere between 10 and 20% compound annual growth in terms of these facilities popping up all over the place. As part of what Tim Berners-Lee has said today is this explosion of connectivity and the explosion of the internet. So there is a massive environmental issue there in terms of data centers. I think somebody once said that it was about the same as the aviation industry in terms of CO2 emissions. Of course, that was seven, eight years ago. With 10% annual growth, what's it today? Our smaller businesses, their data centers are less efficient than the big ones. The big ones get economies of scale. So smaller businesses often have been moving to the cloud, i.e. putting their data and information on these bigger data centers to take advantage of those economies of scale. Often the larger cloud providers are using rack level architectures where they've got both the IT and the data center infrastructure and they combine them together to get savings. And that's what we've done at Isotope. We've done a rack level architecture where we're about eliminating the waste associated with data centers. So we bring IT and data center infrastructure together, and then we introduce liquid cooling and have a holistic design, it allows us to fit more IT into a smaller space, allows us to be more efficient, and allows us to get rid of a load of waste infrastructure. So we're cheaper to deploy and we're cheaper to run, a lot less power consumption. The press release that's gone out recently from um, Isotope references the University of Leeds. The University of Leeds did a white paper on some Isotope equipment they've had installed, which they paid for and had installed about 18 months ago. They've been testing this over the period and they've written a scientific paper on their tests. They found that versus the state of the art, um, this system versus the state of the art air cooling, that they they were finding 40.8% better performance per watt with the isotope system over the state-of-the-art air-cooled system. And they deployed the isotope system not into a data center with all this expensive infrastructure, but they deployed it into a lab and they pumped the water off of the system, the hot water, the waste water, and they pumped it through a load of radiators to cool it down, heating up the lab before pumping it back into the isotope system to continue to cool it. I think it's already big on the agenda of the data centers and it's why PU is a metric that you see used in marketing all over the place. It's a popular metric and I think it's already a big issue in terms of the green data center. I think the question for the industry is what's the next step? A lot of people in the industry believe the next step is liquid cooling and it's been said that by 2020 a liquid cooled data center which is not air cooled at all but totally liquid cooled will be commonplace with a PUE as low as about 1.02, you know, it's completely possible. We showed just with a single cabinet installation at Poznan in Poland, who also produced a scientific paper, we showed a partial PUE of 1.02 over the whole year, just with a single cabinet. We start to look at